Okay, so we're almost done. So what we want to do now is we want to export this out so we can wear it in a second line. So it's already rigged, so let's do our test export and see if there's anything that we need to fix. So I'm just going to click on it, our top. Um, sometimes if the bones and all that jazz get in the way in the body, you can just go over to the clothing layer. The, that's why I said put things on the other layer for this very reason. It's so much easier. So you have it, you just press A, select everything, then go File, Export, Collada Avastar, and uh, I made a few of these beforehand, so I'm just going to name it one up. So name it whatever, and then hit Export. Great. So we're going to open up Second Life. See, I'm still yogaing over here. And then I'm going to go to Build, Mesh Model, Beard Laura Kit. <laughs> That's what I named it. And you're going to do like we've always done with our clothes. We're going to take the lowest and lowest and turn it down to zero. And then we're going to go to Upload Options. We're not going to use Physics. So you're just going to go right to the Upload Options. And we're going to hit Skin Weight. And then Calculate Weights and Fees. And this, uh, it's gonna, this outfit is going to cost us 12 linden. And it's only going to have a land impact of one. Neat. <laughs> so once we have that in, I'm going to take off this outfit. Some zero nudity here and we're gonna press add to and you get to see it snap on so I guess a cat knocking something over so there we have it our avatar wearing our shirt and our pants so we can't really see it like I said can't really see anything when you have white on white so I'm going to select Alfie goodness sake I'm dropping on the floor and I'm going to edit link parts, make our shirt blue and our pants black. Okay, maybe get out of my Silent Hill, something like natural or whatever. Something brighter so we can see what's going on. Take this and uh, attach to. You want to make sure that you don't attach it to your right hand because everything is attached to the right hand. So just throw it somewhere, I don't know, like your chest. And you get to look at and see how you're moving. I thought this Yoga AO was actually the perfect thing to test weights on because it just bends. So you can see that there's some issue here that I need to address. I can either move the mesh or I can try with my weight painting. Oh, I was trying to wait for her to move some more. So there are some hiccups here and there, but for the most part, you know, it's done. You could just go in there and weight paint and change it. But for the most part, that's how you make a t-shirt and a pair of pants. So if you're okay with the weight painting, you can go on to the next step. If not, you can go back, use the techniques that I showed you where we just weight paint it and make sure everything works out. Personally, I don't really care because I'm never going to wear this again and I want to get the tutorial done. So I'm just going to pretend like these weights are absolutely fine and we're going to go on to the next step and that is baking a texture and texturing our garment. So I'm going to go back into Blender. Blender, 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 Blender. I have like 20 blenders and I can't tell which one is open. Right, there we go. Alright, so here we are back here in Blender. And we're going to bake a shadow map for our garment. I'm just going to work on the t-shirt because making t-shirts is so much fun. It's better than making pants. So we're going to click on our t-shirt and we're going to need to look at our UV map thingies. So what I'd like to do is go up to this right upper corner here. And you'll see your cursor go from an arrow to like a cross. You can click on it and then drag it out and it'll give you two screens. And then on the second screen, I like to switch it over to uh, UV Image Editor, and it lets you do that. So I like to click on the shirt, and then you press Tab and go into Edit Mode. Then you press A, and it allows you to see your UV map. Look familiar? It's our uh, Marvelous Designer stuff. So this is where you get into the fun, I'm an advanced creator stuff. And that's, uh, you can either, two options really. You can either leave your UV maps as is. Or you can change it and rearrange it so that you utilize more space inside the UV grid. Um, so you can press B 
and select everything. I'm sorry, B. This is why I said give yourself a gap so that way you can select everything easily. You can press B and then G and then move that outside. Then B and then let's see B G to this. So you can stretch it. You can also press L and hold it over your mouse like this. And, uh, I mean, nobody really pays attention to the back of the shirt. It's all about the front of the shirt. So, there we go. Um, you can also do select them all and then press pack seams. And Blender will try to fit it in there, but that's just ridiculous sometimes. Um, if you want, let's say, to put two different textures on your t shirt, like have the front of the shirt be one texture and the other the back part of the shirt the other one you can do that by pressing this button right here which is the UV sync button and um, when you use this you cannot use what's the word you can't use the hover your mouse over and press L because it'll give you this error cannot link when synced so you can just press C and select all parts that you want so we just want the back part. He is in a small sink. Like this. And you gotta press the middle mouse button. Oh no, not the middle mouse. The right click. Alright, so we have the back selected. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our material tab and we're gonna press new material. Press new and then hit assign. So now you can see we have that's got its own material and this one has its own. So when we go to upload it in Second Life, you can actually apply two different textures on a shirt. So yay. You can add it up. Although Second Life supports more than eight materials per object, um, it's good to just stay within eight and under. Because once you go above that, it starts acting up. So I like to say stay within the 8 limit just to be safe. But I don't really see how you could have 8 texture. Well, I guess front, back, front sleeve, front sleeve, back sleeve, back sleeve, if you want to do that. But who wants to do that? <laughs> we, we barely want to do the front or back. So I'm just going to undo that and uh, let's just stick with it being a single material for ease sake all right so we have our texture here and we're going to create a new texture now normally you go like 1024 by 1024 but i like to do 3d painting on mine and and uh photoshop and photoshop requires you to have a big texture for marvelous designer stuff because it's huge so um i want to click on where it says 1024 i'm going to hold down shift and select the uh, eight so it gives you the asterisk and I'll press 2 and that gives us 2048 so I want it to be 2048 by 2048 and the people who are like no that's too big for second life stop it you're gonna lag us keep your shirt on I'm not gonna leave it like this when we're done at the end I'm gonna shrink it down to a texture size that's reasonable this is just to make it big so that we can actually paint on it properly without getting jagged lines so um, now that we have our shirt here we need to bake a shadow map for it because um well let's just say you want to open up a template shop you don't have to texture it people are totally fine with shade maps and they paint their own stuff on there so two birds one stone <laughs> all right so what i want to do is go back into edit mode i want to go to our texture we have our texture already loaded onto that um, i'm gonna go to this world tab and i'm gonna turn on ambient occlusion Click the box and it's going to say samples down here uh the higher the number the better the the, the sample will be the better not as gritty as it would be <laughs> um but the lower it is the quicker it'll render and but more gritty it'll be so for this i'm just going to turn it to 10. Uh, i think 22 is the magic number but i remember somebody in the groups like she had it up to 200 and would just let it render so it's all up to you uh, for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to stick with 
um, 10. So we're going to click on the camera next. Scroll down to where it says bake. Go to AO and occlusion and then hit bake. And I'm going to wait for it to bake. I'm going to pause and I'm going to come back when it's all baked. Okay, sorry about that. The bacon was done. I just I just broke it. I, I broke the baking. How the hell did I break the bake? Alright, I'll be right back again. I'm going to bake this one more time because I accidentally pressed control Z. I don't know how that happened, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to go bake. And this is not an excuse to jam out real quick because I just got a really good Steven Universe soundtrack. So I'll be right back. Let's let this bake one more time. And, uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so it baked. And you see it baked, and it came out with this gray texture here. And this texture is the AL map that bakes. It's got a shadow in it. It's got some folds. It would be more impressive if we had more, like, geometry on the shirt or whatever. But because I don't, it's like, mm, meh, kind of looks plain. But it really is pretty good once you start texturing it. Uh, don't worry about these black marks. That's just because um, this happened right here, this fold mark inside um, this. Uh, there was no light or whatever so it's just baked it black so don't worry about that it won't hurt you too much so if you like the way it is you can just save it and you can bake it as is so i like to just go to yes, that is the save button press this and you have a shirt and look at this and then hit save whoops i mean file save image and um, i like to save as image give it a second all right, we can also, if you don't like this gray texture, you can cheat. You press this normalize button, press tab, A, and then bake it again. And it'll bake the same texture, just it won't be so gray. It'll be actually a lot whiter. So, same texture, except for now it's white. And you see that's what it's like. So we can hit save as of this one, if you like that. Now, you can also try going a little advanced, and you can add a light to it under here. Like, I had added a lamp to my when I had did my shirt earlier. Um, and then switch it from AO to full render. Let's see, full render. Full render. There we go. And we're going to switch our UV window and make it a 3D view. And we're going to switch our 3D view to uh, rendered. That way you can see what it's like. And I like to do under boob lighting. I think you get a little more shadow that way. Uh, you can move it around and you can see and play with the shadow about how it looks here. If you weren't satisfied with those two gray things. So this is it. I believe you get better stuff with uh, better rendering. Uh, light rendering. That's the word when you use cycles but I never got down with nodes I just tolerant no you want to make sure your boob light and it's like straight you don't want to have crooked boobs unintentionally crooked <laughs> crooked boobs and you can add as many lamps or whatever you want so I'm just gonna stick with this one right here so my computer doesn't blow up too much and um, I'm gonna switch back over to our UV image editor and I'm gonna with full render here. I'm just gonna hit bake. Oops, click on the shirt and then bake. I think I hit did I have normalize. See we got this with our lights and stuff like that in there. And I I can tell now that the boob light is crooked. So whichever way you want. That's how we bake. So we baked it. I'm going to save this image as again. And hit that. So that's three ways that you can bake your shirt and get some good stuff here. So you can either just start texturing on this as a 2D and apply it to your shirt. Or we can go on a 3D painting, which is what I like to do the most. So I'm going to switch over to Photoshop. And we're going to start our 3D painting. And uh, yeah, we're going to finish this shirt up sooner rather than later. So see you guys in the next video and let's keep on going.